Elyria police raided a house for a suspected drug activity, but even they were surprised by who they arrested and what they found. Paul Kiska is live for us in Elyria. All right, Paul, tell us the story. What happened? Okay, Rob, during their drug investigation, Elyria police ended up arresting a mother and her daughter, and neighbors couldn't be happier. Neighbors on Harwood Street are relieved tonight that Elyria police raided this suspected drug house. I hated them living here and watched it go down and couldn't have been more thrilled. I just thank God that they're gone. They didn't even try to hide what they were doing. They were blatant about it. Elyria police told me the three women inside the house weren't selling drugs. They were buying them around the clock to supply their addiction. Neighbors believe the women would do whatever it took to get drugs. One complaint was that uh, somebody was performing a sex act on somebody in a car. Um, you know, that's unacceptable. Police arrested 50-year-old Renee Hildebrandt and her daughter, 23-year-old Janelle Hildebrandt. A third woman was also arrested. The mom told police she's addicted to crack cocaine and her daughter and her friend are addicted to heroin. I, I think it's sad. I think it's sad. I think it's, uh, it's, it's really sad. Police got dozens of complaints from neighbors fed up with the drug activity and what they saw in the yard. Elyria police say they also found syringes, needles scattered around the front yard of this house. Costantino told me police couldn't respond to neighbors' complaints any sooner because they're overwhelmed dealing with drug investigations. They have four detectives assigned to drug investigations in a city of 55,000 people. You know, I could probably have 30 uh, narcotics detectives and, and, and still keep them very busy. Constantino told me the house had no running water, so the three women shared a bucket to go to the bathroom. And when I walked up the steps, I, I was hit with a, with a smell that, uh, that I don't think I've encountered in my, in my 27 years of doing this. The city deemed the house uninhabitable and boarded it up. Neighbors couldn't be happier. A tremendous relief. And in just the past few days, Elyria has had 12 drug overdoses, two of them fatal. Live in Elyria, Paul Kiska for the now.